Section 2-6. Rules for multiplication. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. All right. Rules for multiplication. Well, you guys know a little bit about multiplication, but let's see. We have an objective here well, to multiply. Oh, man, that's pretty obvious. Let's keep moving. All right. Now, identity property of multiplication says the following. There is a unique real number 1, such that for every real number a, a times 1 equals a, and 1 times a equals a. What? They're just saying that there is a unique number, and it's called 1, all right, that brings it, that, that it's called the identity, uh, oh, it's called, what is it called? The identity, not number, the identity element. Oh, man, I have to get brush up on my vocab. Um, but it works kind of like this. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Why? Because 5 ones, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. Or I could say 1 times 5 equals 5. Why? Because if I have just 1 5, I've got 5. Isn't that nice? Now, there's also a multiplication property of 0. It says 8 times 0 is 0. Or 0 times a is 0. Well, similar. If I have a zeros, right, well, let's, let's put some numbers in there so it makes sense. Well, if I have a zeros, I have 0. If I have 0 a's, I have 0, right? I can add 0 to itself many times. Let's put a number in there. Um, 3 times 0 is 0. Why? Because 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Or, um, 0 times 3 is 0. Why? Because if I have 0 3's, watch, here's 0 3's. <laughs> I got none. I got no 3's, so I got nothing. Nutty, nutty, nutty. All right, now, now, there's a multiplication property of negative 1 here. It says a times negative 1 is, um, this is for every, oh, sorry, every real number a. a times negative 1 will be negative a, so like any number. 6 times negative 1, negative 6. Also, negative 1 times a is negative a, so if I like negative 1 times 5, I get negative 5, and it works. And if you think about it, if I have 6 negative 1s, and I add 6 negative 1s, right, multiplication is repeated in addition. If I repeat it, you know, if I add negative 1, negative 1, negative 6 times, I get that. And the same thing here, right? Um, I have, uh, you know, f yeah, 5 negative 1s, right? Or you can think if I have, uh, you know, I have just 1 5, but I have the opposite of 1 5 is negative 5. You know, so, you, you know, there's a lot of different ways to kind of look at these positive and negatives, right? Uh, but there's some rules when you see this thing, right? You see... Um, that, uh, you know, negative times a, a positive is the, the product ends up being negative. So, like, um, you know, negative 3 times 4 ends up giving you a negative 12. And a positive times a negative. Oh. Um, let's see, like, 6 times negative 7 also ends up being a negative, negative 42. And finally, a negative times a negative, uh, let's see, negative 3 times negative 9, right? If I'm multiplying that, um, is like, positive, sorry, it's 27. When the negatives, those guys become positive. Hmm, why? Well, well, because these there's some properties of negative numbers is one reason, but there's some other reasons we're going to talk about. We're going to look for some patterns and things. Um, and hopefully you'll make some observations. You'll be like, oh, cool, dude. Um, we know that this one, I mean, this one's kind of easy to explain, right? If I have, you know, four of these, or I have four negative threes, I end up with negative 12, right? Negative three, negative three, negative three, negative three, negative three right? Or if I have six negative sevens, if I add negative seven to itself six times, I end up with negative 42. Or from the number line, right, and I go down, you know, seven, six times, seven, 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 I'm down at negative 42, way down there, right? Same thing here. If I start at zero, and I go back three, four times, one, two, three, four, I'm over at negative 12. Um, but this is when we get kind of confused. So this negative times negative, a lot of people wonder why. So there's a couple ways you can look at it. One, you can kind of just observe a pattern. And we'll just do, um, you know, what we take what we know and try to, you know, get a little bit from it. For instance, I know that three negative twos is negative six. Two negative twos would be negative four. One negative two, all right, well, that would be a uh, negative two. And if I have zero negative twos, I have zero. So I have this pattern going down here, right? So I'm trying to figure out what's this pattern. Um, if you can't see it here, maybe you can see it on a number line. Um, negative six, negative five, then I go to negative four negative 3, then I get to negative 2, right? Negative 1, 0, right? So the next 1 would be 2, right? And then 4. And then 6, so I'm just kind of going up the number line, right? I'm, I'm jumping by 2 each time. So if I continue this pattern, you notice, what do I end up doing? What do I end up noticing? Right? That, you know, this stayed the same, I'm multiplying the same thing, and I kind of switch this, right? Oh, look at that. The sign, negative times negative is positive. Look at that. Kind of cool, right? That's one way you can kind of think of it. Um, 
You can also think of the product, you know, of a product as a keeper of both sides. So when you multiply like a four and two, you get a positive, positive, a negative, you know, negative times negative, you end up getting two negative signs. Um, so it's kind of like, oh, I know that, you know, you're not asking for the opposite of anything. You just have a plus eight. You have a positive eight, right? But here it's saying the opposite of negative 12. Well, the opposite of negative 12. The opposite of negative 12 is positive 12, right? And this is saying um, the opposite of positive 4. What's that? Negative 4, right? Well, look at this. This is kind of interesting. I have the um, 2 times 3 times 4 times 1 gives me 24, but I have these four negatives that came along. So that's the opposite of 24. So that guy would make it negative, right? And, but now I want the opposite of that negative, so that, well, that guy would make it positive. Uh, now I want the opposite of that positive, so this guy now makes it negative again. Oh my goodness, and this guy makes it positive again. Weird, crazy, so it's going to end up being positive. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So, you know, every pair of these guys, you'll notice something interesting happens, right? Some rules. Sometimes people look at these and like, oh, I have some rules. I'm going to memorize some rules forever. Rules for life, man. All right, well, these are the rules people say. If two numbers have the same sign, right, they have the same sign, and you're finding the product, the product, that product is positive, okay? So the same sign, they're positive. Some people remember it that way. Two numbers have opposite signs, and the product's negative. Now, the product of an even number of negative is positive. So what this is saying here is, so if I have like, you know, what I was just showing you, like negative 2 times negative 1 times negative 1, right, um, times negative 2. I have 2 times 1 times 1 times 2, right? I get 4, but those 4 negatives come with me. If there's an even number of negatives, then it's being positive. Um, but if there's an odd number, see negative 3 times 2 times negative 2 times negative 1, I get 3, 6, and 2 is 12, right, times 2 is 12. I get this 12 with 1, 2, 3 negatives. And why does that work, right? You might be wondering, when there's an odd number of negative, it's negative. When there's an even number, it's positive. Well, on the last slide, you notice that we have this little thing going here, right? If I kept going, if I had that 24 and I had negatives going on forever, notice it's NP, NP, right? This guy made it negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Well, that's one, the second one, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. Notice, right, that all the odd numbers, right, we have odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. All the odd numbers end up on negatives, right? So we have an odd number of negatives, right? Kind of cool. Something else some people kind of do, some, you know, another thing some people do to kind of help them remember um, is they, uh, they'll see like negative, 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 like this guy here. All right, this negative 24, sorry. And they'll see like minus, 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 minus 8. Every pair they're like, <laughs> and they turn into plus, 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 you know. Could, well, whatever. All right. And don't forget that uh, multiplication is repeated addition. Okay, this is another important. Don't forget this. This is huge. Okay, three negative two is negative two, negative two, negative two. Right? So you get negative six. Now this guy. Another way you can look at this is I can just cover this for a second. Say, so, yeah, I do want three negative twos. Negative two, negative two. I do want my negative six. But I want the opposite of that. So I want positive six. Ooh, kind of another way to look at these things. All right. Uh, you know. And if products, if we say they keep the sign, we know that, you know, that these two negatives um, will make a positive. But notice, a positive sign, see that plus? It's made up of a negative this way and a negative that way. So two negatives actually do make a positive because it's a positive sign that's made up of it. You know, and as I said before, some folks just walk up and they're like, peace. All right? So let's do a quick little thing here, right? I got a little, just enough time to do one problem. Let's distribute this. Um, negative 2 times 3x, negative 6x. Negative 2 times positive 4, negative 4. And now I want the opposite of all this stuff. So this is going to become, this is going to be minus 5x. This negative is going to be positive 6 plus 7, right? So that's how I distribute it. If I combine like terms, negative 11x, and then combine those guys, and you're pretty all set. Negative 4, I got 2 of that plus 9, right? Okay, guys. That's about it. Hope you have a great day. Um, oh, the one more thing I forgot. If this guy's going forward and I say reverse it, I'm going negative. But suppose I started out negative. This guy's going backwards to begin with. You say reverse it, it's going forward. So to reverse or reverse is going forward. Peace.